dear students this video is meant for how to perform best in physics how to study physics so we'll discuss uh, seven different points seven steps for your best performance first of all you must learn the basic mathematical skills required to solve problems in physics like you must know what is the value of root 2 what is the value of root 3 1.732 if possible then do go up to root 5 as well as on up to root 10 further <clears throat> lots of questions are based on vectors you must know how to add vectors how to manage scalar quantities how to take scalar and vector products trigonometric tables <laughs> Those learned in class 10th, sine, cos, and tan only are required, and uh, the standard value is 0 degree, 30 degree, and 45, 60, and 90 degree. You must know all these T ratios on tips so that you can perform faster in numericals. Further, there are only three types of graphs in physics. Whenever some graph is required, you have to learn these three graphs. First of all, if there is a linear dependence, like y is equal to mx plus c, in that case the graph would be a straight line. But please do remember, if a slope m happens to be negative, then graph is going to move downwards. If m is positive, graph moves upwards. Secondly, this c is intercept on y-axis. If it is positive, then graph would meet y-axis on positive side. Otherwise, graph would meet y-axis on the negative side. <clears throat> For the second type of graph is inverse proportion graph, which is somewhat like Boyle's law in chemistry. So, if uh, two quantities are inversely proportional, like y is uh, inversely proportional to x, in that case, graph would be a curve like this, as shown. So, the graph uh, keeps uh, falling down, but uh, the graph uh, would fall along a curve. And third type of graph is parabola. If y is proportional to square of x, then you are going to get this type of graph. Like in kinematics, for uniformly accelerated motion, you have s is equal to ut plus half at square. If dependence is on square of time for the displacement, in that case, the graph is going to be a parabola. Further, you must know at least two <coughs> simple uh, equations of calculus for differentiation d by dx of x power n is equal to n into x power n minus 1 and integral of x power n dx is x power n plus 1. Just increase the power by 1 and divide by the new power. In differentiation, n comes uh, forward and power is to be reduced by 1. In integration, power is to be increased by 1 and divide by the new power, n plus 1. Further, you must memorize some of the quantities, like some constants, such as velocity of light, 3 in 10 power 8 meter per second, value of g, 9.8 meter per second square, Planck's constant, if possible, however it is given in most of the questions, as well as Avogadro number. <clears throat> some relevant equations which are to be used again and again in numericals must also be kept in mind like uh, v equal to u plus at f is equal to ma kinetic energy half mv square potential energy mgh these must be mugged up so that as soon as they are required you must be able to write them immediately further how to manage uh, your classroom behavior that is also important because learning would be drawn from the class itself, we can later on practice the things. So in classroom, first of all, you must not note down the steps the teacher is writing. First, you should listen what teacher is explaining. Afterwards, understand the things, the topic being taught, then start noting down when explanation is over. So I'm repeating, when teacher is teaching on the board, teacher is speaking, teacher is explaining, you must not note down at that time. You must start noting down when explanation is over. Teacher would give time. 
<coughs> so try to note down the things without seeing the board afterwards it is finished by the teacher so once you have learned then try to write yourself on your notebook have good friends which do not waste your time if your friends are discussing something else in the class that means they are not good friends they are bad friends they are wasting your time they are bringing backwards from achieving your goal so have good friends which would help uh, you in your studies which would discuss uh, the things which are uh, going to improve your performance they are the good friends try to solve numericals yourself do not see side by side what the other fellows are doing so you should solve the numerical yourself because in the exam also you will have to manage the things yourself do not bring <coughs> the feeling that if you ask in the class what others would think some people are introvert type they try to uh, escape the things asking in the class they would like uh, that i'll uh, see it at my home i'll try at home but they will not ask in the class so please uh, <coughs> be bold to clear your doubts immediately in the class do not wait to go home and read again and go through the things again so please uh, do ask there itself in the class teacher would never refuse you go to library in free periods so if our teacher happens not to come to the class or class is without the teacher in that case you must go to library instead of uh, uh, wasting your time with other activities in the class with the students which are naughty which would be playing with the duster extra so <clears throat> you won't be able to study in class without teacher so immediately leave the class go to library or go to some lonely place where you can manage your time properly further what to do at home first of all you must have a planned time table it must be stuck to your study table wall and you must strictly follow it <clears throat> priority subjects like if you are a medical students then physics chemistry biology if you are non medical students then physics chemistry maths each subject would require minimum 2 hours daily at home for your practice further have adequate sleep also if you are uh, keeping uh, awake for long hours during night and an early riser also so your number of sleeping hours are reduced in that case your performance would come down so please uh, have perfect time duration of sleeping 5 to 6 hours during night time and half hour nap during day time before starting your next session have a half hour sleep during during day time then you must have daily goals what goals are <clears throat> you must review your notes at home remaster the subject topic taught today rewrite the derivations without seeing the notebook i am repeating without seeing the notebook you will have to write the derivations again further at least 5 to 10 new numericals to be practiced daily 5 to 10 new numericals depending upon your iq and uh, the time slot available and lastly note down the important things and shortcuts in a separate notebook so that while uh, revising or just uh, going to exam you have an half an hour or one hour before you in that case what you can study you can't study whole book during that time so you have to go through the important points and shortcuts so you have to refer to that notebook during the half an hour or one hour before the exam further how to practice <coughs> derivations so first of all you must see the derivation completely that is called complete scan second step is you must go through the steps carefully and learn what were the steps next step after catching you the main steps what was to be multiplied why was it multiplied what was to be divided by and so on you must keep in mind these main steps and then 
these steps are to be practiced that is you must write the derivation without seeing so that would complete once you have written the derivation yourself without seeing the notebook that means this derivation is ready further try again if perfection is not reached maybe you may forget some steps your result may not match with the final answer so then try it again till you get satisfied that now i can write in the exam also without seeing next are conceptual problems there are so many questions in physics like uh, <clears throat> why does uh, a helium filled balloon rise up why does uh, a balloon filled with air comes down so there are so many conceptual problems in physics so these problems are to be referred from any book which you have and concepts are not to be practiced again and again once you have learned the conceptual problem afterwards it need not be readdressed again so that is final that you have understood the thing and you would be able to write the things in your exam also so all the conceptual problems must be gone through once and the concept must be understood further you must discuss with friends also on various conceptual issues so let your friends debate on routine situations like why is it easier to balance a moving bicycle but a static bicycle is difficult to balance so let your friends also come out with the solution you also give your solution then you confirm your answer with your teacher so discuss the explanation which you have come across with your teacher whether it is correct or incorrect so once the concept is understood afterwards it need not be practiced again it is learned that means it is final forever okay last step is how to solve numerical problems so first of all read the numerical twice maybe thrice also if not well understood then draw a relevant diagram diagram could be with vectors it could be a ray diagram it could be a circuit diagram and do not forget to mark the small details in the diagram like there could be friction there could be gravity there could be viscous drag or some other forces involved you must write the data given in proper units with proper signs also whereas unknown quantities are not to be given any sign then plan a line of action that is start thinking from the answer side what is to be done at the last then middle steps and then how to begin so you must plan a line of action sequence of steps to reach the answer so remember practice leads to perfection more you practice more you reach towards perfection but keep away from distractors like facebook whatsapp these would waste your time these are big 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 hole in which you would keep getting trapped and trapped you would never be able to revive yourself 